welcome to this service of Holy Eucharist. For those who know me, you will know I can't resist a feast day. And today I am in the beautiful chapel of St. Lawrence, here in the centre of Warminster, because the 10th of August is the feast of St. Lawrence, deacon of Rome, patron of students, miners, tanners, chefs, and for them, the poor and firefighters, and of course, the patron saint of this chapel. And what a special place this is. But wherever we are, we meet as ever in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. The saints were faithful unto death and now dwell in the heavenly kingdom forever. As we celebrate their joy, let us bring to the Lord our sins and weaknesses and ask for his mercy. Almighty God, our, our heavenly, heavenly Father, Father we, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate faults. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us. Forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May God, who loved the world so much that he sent his Son to be our Saviour, forgive you your sins and make you holy to serve him in the world through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In response to God's mercy and forgiveness, we sing the Gloria in Excellences. remembering those we carry in our hearts and ourselves, 
These prayers are gathered together in the words of the college prayer. Almighty God, who made Lawrence a loving servant of your people and a wise steward of the treasures of your church, fire us with his example to love as he loved and to walk in the way that leads to eternal life through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Anthony reads from the Old Testament prophet Isaiah. But now, thus says the Lord, he who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you, for I am the Lord your God the Holy One of Israel, your Saviour. I give Egypt as your ransom, Ethiopia and Seba in exchange for you, because you are precious in my sight. I honoured and I love you. I give people in return for you, nations in exchange for your life. Do not fear, for I am with you. I will bring your offspring from the east and from the west. I will gather you. I will say to the north, give them up, and to the south, do not withhold. Bring my sons from far away, and my daughters from the end of the earth. Everyone who is called by name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. John. Very truly, I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains just a single grain. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. Those who love their life lose it, and those who hate the life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there will my servant be also. Whoever serves me, the Father will honour. This is the Gospel of the Lord. I am grateful to Deacon Keith Fourier for the following. The year was 258 AD. It was a very difficult beginning for what would become the first Christian millennium. Hostility against the early followers of Jesus was growing. The barbarism and severity of pagan Rome had become to reach fever pitch. It would soon lead to a bloodlust. The newborn Christian church, faithful to the one who had given himself for the life of the world, continued the work of his redemption. First and second century Rome was a challenging mission field for these early Christians. Rome proclaimed itself the shining example to the world of its age while it violated the natural moral law and embraced debauchery. Sound familiar? The day that Deacon Lawrence experienced his birth from death to life was an ominous and frightful day in ancient Rome. Four days earlier, the great Bishop of Rome, Sixus, was arrested by soldiers of the Emperor Valerian, along with his beloved deacons, and beheaded. Valerian had issued an edict to the Roman Senate, all the Christian clergy, bishops, priests and deacons, were to be arrested and executed. There were so many holy people among the martyrs of early Rome. That makes it even more remarkable that the life and death of this one humble deacon Lawrence is attributed with all of Rome becoming Christian. Sentenced to death in the emperor's sweeping condemnation, Lawrence offended the emperor and endeared himself to all Christians since then by assembling before Valerian the real gold and silver of the church, the poem. According to the Christian tradition, Deacon Lawrence, knowing that the fervour of the Emperor's hatred was extending to all Christians who owned property, began to give it all away. He distributed the money and treasures of the church to the city's poor, believing the clear teaching of the Saviour, that they were blessed and especially loved by him. Valerian heard the news and wanted the treasure to satisfy his unbridled lust for worldly power. So he offered Deacon Lawrence a way out of sure death. If he would show him where the church's great gold and silver were located, he would issue an order of clemency, sparing his life so that he could continue his work. Valerian was delighted when the deacon asked for three days to gather all the gold and silver of the church together in one central place. His pride and greed blinded him from seeing the truth. For three days, Deacon Lawrence went throughout the city and invited all the beloved poor, physically challenged and unfortunate, to come together. They were being supported by the thriving early Christian community who understood the gospel imperative to recognise Jesus in the poor. When Valerian arrived, Deacon Lawrence presented him with the true gold and silver of the church, the poor. The emperor was filled with rage, 
beheading was not enough for this Christian deacon. He ordered Deacon Lawrence to be burned alive in public on a griddle. Witnesses recorded the public martyrdom. The deacon cheerfully offered himself to the Lord Jesus and even joked with his executioners. And tradition records massive conversions to the Christian faith as a result of the holy life and the death of one deacon who understood the true heart of his vocation. He was poured out like his master, Jesus Christ the servant, in redemptive love on behalf of others. It is still said to this day that all of Rome became Christian as a result of the faithful life and death of this one humble deacon. He was buried in a cemetery on Via Tibertina. On that spot, Constantine would later build a basilica. Do not be afraid, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. When you walk through the waters, I'll be with you. You will never sink beneath the waves. Do not be afraid. to follow Jesus. Saviour, we hear your call. Help, Help us to follow. Except I am moved with compassion, how dwelleth thy spirit in me. In word and in deed burning love, is my need. I know I can find this in thee. Jesus said, whoever wishes to be great among you must be your servant. Saviour, we hear your call. Help, Help us to follow. Jesus said, unless you change and become humble like little children, you can never enter the kingdom of heaven. Saviour, we hear your call. Help us to follow. Jesus said, happy are the humble. They will receive what God has promised. Saviour, we hear your call. Help, Help us, us to follow. Jesus said, Be merciful as your Father is merciful. Love your enemies and do good to them. Saviour, we hear your call. Help, Help us, us to follow. Jesus said, Love one another as I love you. There is no greater love than this, to lay down your life for your friends. Saviour, we hear your call. Help, Help us, us to follow. Jesus said, go to people everywhere and make them my disciples. 
and I will be with you always to the end of time. Saviour, we hear your call. Help, Help us to follow. God of mercy, you, you know, know us and love us and hear our prayer. Keep us in the eternal fellowship of Jesus Christ, our Saviour, remembering all your saints and martyrs. Amen. Except I am moved with compassion, how dwelleth thy spirit in me? In word and in deed, burning love is my need. I know I can find this in thee. God of faithfulness, your servant Lawrence praised you in his death. Receive all we bring before you this day and give us the strength of will to proclaim your righteousness and love. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living word, through whom you have created all things, who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh as your Son, born of the Blessed Virgin. He lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us on the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and reveal the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. And now we give you thanks that in the witness of your martyr Lawrence, who followed Christ even to death, you reveal your power made perfect in our human weakness. Therefore with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and of wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave him thanks. He broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you, do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory. 
we celebrate this memorial of our redemption as we offer you this as sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving we bring before you this bread and this cup and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you send the holy spirit on your people gather us into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup so that we in the company of saint lawrence saint mary saint dennis saint john and saint alden may praise and glorify you forever through christ our lord amen by whom and with whom and in whom in the unity of the holy spirit all honor and glory be yours almighty father forever and ever amen as our saviour taught us so we pray our, our father, father in heaven, heaven hallowed be your name your, your kingdom, kingdom come, come your, your will, will be done on earth as in heaven, heaven. Give, give us today our daily bread forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever amen we break this bread to share in the body of christ and though we are many we are one body because we all share in one bread be assured we are one body as we pray together this prayer for a spiritual communion heavenly father as we participate with your people in these holy mysteries we pray you now to grant your gift of spiritual communion with trust in your faithfulness and your abiding love through christ our lord amen jesus is the lamb of god who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be seen. We do not presume to, to come, come to this your table, merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies. We, we are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs of the your table, but if you are the same Lord, whose nature is always to have mercy, grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him and he in us. Amen. Sister, let me serve you, let me be as Christ to you. Pray that I may have the grace to let you be my servant too.
I will share your joy and sorrow till we've seen this journey through. When we sing to God in heaven, we shall find such harmony. During the week, I was invited by one of the Pfeffers to ascend the tower here in St. Lawrence's. And so Anthony and I went to the top of the tower. What a glorious view it is of Warminster. But my word, didn't it feel very high. So I hope you appreciate these images while we sing our final hymn. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the souls of the faithful departed rest in peace. And rise in glory. Amen.